Yogi B, you tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? What's the word, P Films? Let's go with you, man. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, man. Um, I want to start this off by saying, you know, thank you for coming on my platform and giving me the opportunity to help tell your story, all right? Of course, bro. I appreciate you for letting me get on here. Absolutely, absolutely, man. I just want to kind of talk about kind of like, you know, how we met. You know, I remember, uh, I think it was a year ago, I was interviewing J-Star Baller. I think you showed up. And um, I, I had recognized who he was. I'm like, oh, snap. You know, we, we exchanged numbers. I know it took some time, but here we are now. You know what I'm saying? Um, how has the grind been since we met to now? How has everything been? Respectfully, I, like the month after we met, yeah, shit, shit fake took off. Like I ain't gonna lie, we was traveling. I had Rolling Loud performed in Rolling Loud. Mm -hmm. We was in Atlanta. We had a tour to the UK. We had um two different venues in the UK. We sold them out. Mm -hmm. You already know. Um, you know it was you know we 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 got some deaths. You know that really yeah. like yeah. you know as you can see on the internet. You know, you got people mocking them, you know, shit like that. It's just mad controversy right now on the gram and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, we've just been working. You know, I was a Naughty World Records. Well, I still am. You know, I'm an artist of Naughty World Records, you know. Like, yeah. we um, did a lot of things. Why are we... What, what, was, what was one of the things that you feel like, damn, so I, I never expected to be doing this. You know what I'm saying? Traveling to the UK to perform. Yeah. It's paid us. They paid us a lot of money, you know? Yeah. Paid us a lot. What was the fans out there like? Oh, man. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Yogi B, UK, yeah. literally both days I invited like 10 girls to the house. Damn. The bros know what the bros know what went down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's mm -hmm. up. I guess um all right, so so I uh now you, you mentioned, you know, y'all lost a couple people, you know. I guess it's like um I was gonna bring this up later, but since you brought it up now, you know, what what is the what is that like losing like two people who were close to y'all, young and like influential, you know? What was that like? I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Um, Naughty's death, you know, that, like, that, that was, um, like, how can, I, how can I explain it? Like, not that I don't know Ida like that, mm -hmm. you know, but it wasn't the same for me. You know, like, of course I feel bad yeah. that a person died, you know, like, and then it's a, it's a kid that I met who actually liked my music. He, he let me perform at a show one day. He hit me up like, "Yo, Yogi, you trying to perform at this show?" Eat up. Yeah, that's exactly. when I knew him. Like, damn, we, you know, we all from the same hood. Yeah, we not from the same generation. We don't really know each other, but it's all same love. You know, like the naughty, naughty. I seen him born. You know, mm. as family. Like, I seen him dad. I I never imagined some shit like that. Or you know, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, what is that like when you hear? I guess. People, like you said earlier, you know, they're mocking, making songs. I mean, for one made that big song, you know, like, and, you know, but I know that at some point, wasn't, weren't, weren't like, Ida and all of them cool with them? Did, did you know them at that point or not? Nah, my son, Nadi, yo, bro, Nadi had a um, a trailer. Okay. Right? And then I don't even understand, because I'm old, bro, you heard? Yeah. Like, those are the little bros, you feel yeah. me? Like. I understand. I ain't really understand. My son, he had a, a trailer. He said four one k. Yeah, Jack and the snitches. I guess there was like Jack and somebody who was snitching. You feel me? Yeah. And it was like after he died, it was like they seen that bro used to listen to their music, but also mm -hmm. you know was also subbing them and stuff like that. It was just like I don't know, bro. That little that little that little. I'm too old for that yeah. shit, bro. You yeah. feel me, bro? Don't get me wrong though. I see a nigga in the street talking about he's smoking naughty, he getting slapped. I don't care how old you are. You feel yeah. me, like. Shit like yeah. that, eat out too as well. You feel me? Yeah. Like that's not. But on some kid shit, I ain't on the internet. I ain't smoking on nobody. I don't do shit like that. Yeah. I got friends that's in the opposite gang of me. You feel me? Like and and, and, and I don't disrespect them. They don't disrespect yeah. me. You feel me? It's mutual respect. Shit like that. You feel me? Gotcha, gotcha. You know <clears throat> that is that is something that's kind of I, I always want to ask that because I feel like your music and your music. Like there's talent there. There's there's Thank you're not you. just screaming and, and smoking on nobody on people like that. You're not doing all that. You're actually speaking about that pain, speaking about your experiences and all that. What is it like watching the music scene gravitate to um less talent and more disrespect? You know, like you gotta be smoking on deads, yeah. disengaged. What is that like for people who actually want to put their creativity in music? 
it's a little hard because the, all the attention is on like the drill scene right now, mm -hmm. the new generation. But it ain't, it ain't really that hard because you got some ears that want to listen to that, then you got some ears that want to listen to me, you feel me? Yeah. You just need the right push, to be honest. Gotcha. Like, gotcha. You know, there's platforms right now for a lot of drill artists, there's a lot of, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, the scene yeah. is just about, yo, who, who's disrespecting who, you know what I'm most. saying? It's, it, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's like that. You saying like, you know, you're older and all that, when you see like either Didi or them dissing... 4-1 or 4-1 and D or, and you know, people disappear. You know, let me tell you something. All right, when my son Didi was trying to like chill and then, you know, get into like another type of like genre with the music. Yeah. Can you believe that his fans really got mad? Really? Yeah. They got, because they want him dissing. They want mm. him to diss. So he's trying to grow. Try, Cause it, it's hard to continuously diss and go mainstream. You, feel you know what I'm mean? saying? So he's trying to grow mainstream. The fans are getting mad because they want. Yeah, that. they want him to diss. You know. What I mean? like, so what's the him. conversations like then? Like, what do you what do you do? What do you, what does he do? Does I he... be telling bro, just you know, make your tracks, bro. Keep them in the tuck of anything. You feel me? They eventually yeah. gonna get rid of that drill shit. You know? Yeah. Like something gonna happen with that shit. You know? Like, yeah. I feel like more attention is gonna get. Brought up on the um singers and stuff like that. People, you know, who doing melody and stuff like that. Yeah, it's gonna come. Yeah, that's it's a fact. Come. That's a fact.